Tell me, Doctor, am I looking into something made white? The likeness is close. Your Highness. So, you see it too. The extraordinary resemblance between us. Your Highness, father's a poor machinery salesman. And uh, speaking of machinery, let me show you. Never mind the machinery. This is the most amazing thing I ever saw. of the earth should be so alike, feature for feature. Quite so, Your Highness. Now, this machine I was telling you about, I'll buy the machine. Mr. Grant will be my guest. Let refreshments be served at once. Come, my friend. I want you to meet Harris, a famous animal hunter. That tower looking bird back there with the Roger. Why, uh, that's his cousin, Prince Decker. It's a week since I've been trying to get near you. You give all your time to that foreigner, Grant. He's a very wise man. I am learning much that will benefit my people. <laughs> No one must know that this has happened. Least of all, my cousin, Dacker. Give me a leaf from your notebook. I'll have strength to write. You must lose no time in bringing this to my brother in Cremona. And you my friend, for the next 48 hours, you must be the Raja of Rampur. Uh, the Raja of Rampur? There is no other way. Should any hint of my death leak out before my brother arrives, my cousin Dacker would seize the throne. to go through with it now. Do you think you can get away with this Raja stuff? I'll try it for his sake. No time to lose. There's a bowl of bush right outside the tent. Get me some of the berries so I can stain my face and help me change clothes with the Raja. To my elephant. 
certainly looks as though you can get away with this Roger stuff. I've got to until his brother arrives. Why should his brother arrive? All we've got to do is to tear this up and we're in soft for the rest of our life. None of that, Harris. We're playing this game straight. Don't be a fool. You can have an entire kingdom at your feet. You heard what I said? I'm playing this straight. Oh, forget it. I was only kidding. As soon as we reach the palace, I'll start for Cavola. Back from Cavola so soon? Did you bring the new Rajah? He is outside. His Excellency, the Rajah of Rampo. the Rajah's letter, huh? Oh, no, Grant. That letter was far too valuable to be destroyed. I knew where I could sell it for a good round sum. Am I right, Your Excellency? To be paid after I'm safely on the throne. And to make sure that there would be no slip-up, I had Sacker sign our little agreement on the back of the Rajah's letter. And you think you can get away with this? You realize I've already called the guard from the throne room? Not so fast with your friend. You have much to learn about intrigue, my friend. Try and call the guard. And you will find they are not yours, but mine. Your Highness, your brother's arriving from Kabbalah with a company of lancers. <laughs> told you all. Soldiers are with him, spreading through the city, stopping every approach to the palace. So much the better. They're here to prevent bloodshed. And the throne will be saved to its rightful heir. Instead of a kingdom, you will inherit a prison cell. They will never enter the palace. My men will prevent it. Brother is dead. Struck down by this imposter who tried to take the throne for himself. And he would have succeeded and we discovered the fraud and sent word to you. You killed my brother? Now, this is no time for private fences. You take this up with the proper authorities. Come on. A 
did not get the throne. But we escaped the penalty rather neatly, Fred Huh? You're not entirely out of this mess yet, my friend. You still have to buy this. But I thought our agreement was that I have us not to pay until I obtained the throne. This is more valuable to you now than ever. You keep it out of the new Roger's hands. Blackmail, eh? Call it what you like, but the fact still remains. You too, my friend Harris, have much to learn about intrigue. Take a look at the back of that letter. Disappearing ink. There's a way to bring this writing back. And I'll find it. When you do, look me up. An offender against the law. There is no one here except those who belong here. These soldiers, if they so desire, have permission to search. Take these men around the camp. Better recherche complet. Who is this fugitive you seek? Oh, just another escaped prisoner. And if we do not get him, bien sûr, the desert will. He's not in the camp, Mon Capitaine. We are indebted, Monsieur, for your courtesy. You will need a friend where you are going. Show this ring to Basaba, who keeps the inn of the fence in La Benga. Command him in my name. The soldiers have taken the road to the north. If you'll take the trail to the east, you'll be safe. Except while that. An excellent disguise, Mr. Robert Grant. And you probably would have gotten away with it if you had been sure that we had gone before you talked so much. I hear you say you were going to Lobenga? Yes. Well, what is stopping you? Mean? I mean, when I think of how it would feel to be in the belly of the lion, why should I care what they want you for? But, uh, won't you get into trouble for this? Why, they probably will make me a colonel when they hear I kill the lion single-handed. Au revoir. Mais bonne chance. So long, pal. I'll be seeing you.
in the gun room? I just got in with some cats for the Calcutta boat. Is she in yet? No, but she's due any time now. <laughs> Change of clothing, a little food, and later perhaps a real service. My house and all that I have is yours. Sorry, I'm a one long Harris. Nasty case of illicit diamond mining, all was Kuman did. We've been having a lot of trouble lately. You finish your drink, and I'll look you up at the hotel when I get back. Okay, Wainwright. Pardon me, but is this the place where you report a diamond discovery? Diamond? Oh, yes, yes. Did you find some? Acres of them. Take a look at these. Where did you get these? Most amazing thing you ever saw the way I found them. Why, I was riding along and... Oh, I say, Wainwright, there's a devil to pay. Oh, I beg your pardon. I thought you were the agent. I'm sorry. Oh. Aren't you the agent? You're a mistake, old chap. It never occurred to me that you thought I was the agent. However, I'll give him your information if you like. Oh, no, thanks. I'll see him myself. When will he be back? Tomorrow. You won't tell anybody about this? No. Sorry to bother you. I'll see the agent tomorrow. In what way can I help you seek your vengeance? For surely it is vengeance that you seek. Let us call it justice. For my imprisonment was unjust. I have come a long way to find a certain man. Is he here in Lobenga? Yes. Ah, then I can help you. For I know every man here. You were saying? Later. Ah, uh, Harris, my friend. Greetings. Oh, my young cousin from Tangier. A willing worker if you need one. How do you do? I might be able to use you on one of my animal hunts. Look me up at the Continental Hotel sometime. You see this, my friend. Why? I just got wind of something that's going to make us rich, tremendously rich. But we've got to work fast, Mustafa. Yes? Diamonds. The biggest you ever saw. Oh, oh, oh no, my friend. The government is too watchful for me to risk my liberty for a few paltry diamonds. Who said a few paltry diamonds? I mean a field for them. A field of diamonds? Where? That's what we've got to find out. My master, Mr. Harris, desires his key, please. I know one who walks. She is too deeply indebted to me. Come, you see for yourself. Hello, Muriel. Hello. This is the cell. I want you to know my brother, Tom Armitage. How do you do? Happy to meet you. Mrs. LaSalle in her room. I'll see. Uh, no, she isn't. She might be in the lobby. Stop it. You see that young fellow standing over there beside that pretty woman? 
He's the one who had the secret. So, you see that pretty woman standing beside the young man? She's the one who can get the secret. Get her up to my room where we can talk. Come on, let's go and change. I'll be along pretty soon. All right. Goodbye. Are you staying here long? I'll be here the rest of the season. Your sister tells me that you have a plantation near here. Why, yes. Uh, we'd like to have you come and see us. I should love to. Do you mind? Oh, no. Go ahead. My key, please. Why, I gave it to your man, servant, Mr. Harris. My man? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Must be something up. I have no man, servant. I'm sorry, but I'll have to run along now. Well, perhaps I can see you after dinner. Perhaps. Stop, you fool. Not so much noise. I beg your pardon. We were chasing a thief, and I thought he ran in here. There's no one here. Will you please leave my room? I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't believe you. I'm an American, playing a more dangerous game than I can possibly explain. To turn me over to the police now would ruin everything. The fate of too many people depend upon my remaining free and unknown. Muriel, may I come in? Go, oh, go oh, quickly. You must have gone in here, I tell you. No, I, I think perhaps that way. Look out, here I come. Just a moment till I put something on. Enter me, Lord. Sorry to disturb you, sis, but I don't like the idea of that fellow knowing I've got these diamonds. They'll be safer in your room than mine. like Mrs. LaSalle pretty well. Yes, she is quite attractive. There. I feel quite a lot easier now. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Before the night is over, the secret will be yours. Sale. Name your own price. This time I don't bargain with you. 
You just let me take that power to New York, can I? He's not for sale. He would be a menace to civilization. I'm the only one that can control him. Come on, let's get down to business about these other animals. You've got to get them on board ship soon if you expect to sail tonight. Aren't you rather rushing, Mrs. LaSalle? After all, we don't know her very well. Oh, don't be catty, Sid. Isn't this rather lovely? I know a delightful place where we could be alone. Do you? Let's go. I thought you said we were coming to your room. This is my room. Oh, I see. My hunting bags and kit. They do look a bit masculine, don't they? Quite masculine. I think I've made a mistake. Stop. You're not going to leave this room. Get away from that door. You haven't got the nerve to shoot. There was no use to run, lady. Why, you dare not accuse me. Nobody would take your word against mine. It is not I that will accuse you. It is the mark of your fingers on the gun. Kill him, you have spoiled everything. Is he dead? Yes. It was an accident. I I am afraid the law will not believe that. Your only safety lies in flight. Flight? Oh, but where can I go? You must leave the city at once. The farther you go, the better. Now, there is a boat that leaves tonight. If you hurry, you can get on board before she sails. What?
Rajah's kingdom from a pretender, Grant assumed the dying ruler's identity and was accused of having murdered the Rajah. Proof of Grant's innocence exists in the form of a letter written by the Rajah before his death. A hunter named Harris has the letter in his possession. Grant has escaped from prison and is trailing Harris was disguised as an Arab. His real identity is known only to Muriel Armitage, the girl who has befriended him. Muriel's brother Tom has been accidentally wounded by a woman known as Mrs. LaSalle, who had plotted with Harris and an Arab named Mustafa to make Tom reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit. Suddenly, Harris's ferocious ape man, Beaming, seizes Tom in his terrible clutch. <laughs> What's the news? You were right about women selling you out. What do you mean? Mrs. LaSalle is on the boat now, running away with the boy. What? You let her double cross us like that? You fool. You bungled everything. From now on, I'll look after it myself. Yes, I'll have to buy tickets. That's all right, sir. I give you 93 in the after cash. I'll follow along short if you think. Very well. 93. I am servant to Mr. Harris. All right, go ahead.
there. Oh, isn't this delightful? I didn't know you were sailing. You know what I'm here for? Where's my brother? I told you I don't know anything about him. What about this? The writing. He found me after all these years. Who's writing? What do you mean? You're not going to put me off again. Don't stop me. This is a matter of life and death. It will be a matter of life and death if you don't tell me where my brother is. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I hope I haven't hurt you. My goodness, what is the world coming to? Young girls rushing around like mad bulls. Oh, I do hope you'll forgive me. Well, don't stand there yapping like a parrot. Help me to my station. I don't... Tickets, please, ladies. Oh, I'm not a passenger. I'm going ashore. Sure, but well, we're way at sea. At sea? Oh. You can't go ashore now, miss. But I, ha I haven't any money for my passage. Well, how about the friends you came aboard to see? Can't they pay your passage? I haven't any friends on board. What makes you think you have no friends on board? The idea of you pestering a poor innocent girl like this. Make our ticket for her as my companion. But no, 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 not a word, my dear. It's all settled. You read to me every morning for two hours and wake me every morning at nine o'clock. Oh, thank you. Well, number 84 is vacant next door, miss. Seems like it's just made to your order. Oh, sorry. Captain is giving a party for the passengers down in the saloon, miss. If you care to come down. Oh, thank you. How over this man on guard. Thank you. Mrs. Anthony, that's Ben Olaf Peterson. And we're going to have a showdown right now. Beg pardon, sir, but that lady is not Mrs. Anthony. She ain't, huh? Well, I know better. Just a minute. You can't go in there. Captain's orders. Never mind. She can't get off that boat. They'll see her. be expecting me. Well, where's the boy? I don't know. I swear I don't. There's no use lying. The stop and put me wise. True. I didn't bring that boy on board. Then why did you sail? Because I'm in terror of my life. You saw that guard outside? If you don't produce the boy, that guard won't save you. There's a man at that porthole. Do you see an Arab running this way? No. It was you. Why, you don't think I shot her, do you? Then why were you running down the passageway as I came around the corner? You didn't come around the corner, Harris. They saw you running down the passageway yourself. Oh, yeah? Where were you to see so much? What's the matter here? Hi, Gary!
you doing in this room? What do you suppose I'm doing? Covering the evidence of the crime? Madam, you must realize we have found you engaged in a highly suspicious action. I hope you can explain your presence here. And, uh, what if I can't explain? I will have no alternative but to put you under arrest for the murder of Mrs. LaSalle. Oh. Send him out and I'll talk to you. Stand on guard. Secret Service agent, eh? Well, you need to shout it loud enough for the whole ship to hear. This is indeed a surprise, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Moore. Uh, Mrs. Colby is the name on the ship's register, if you please. You must understand, officer, that we agents must hide our real identity. This is no ordinary murder, but one directly connected with the case I am working on. A case of such importance but I must ask you to keep it as quiet as possible. By all means, Mrs. Colby. know something about you, I would raise an alarm. That would be fatal to you. Fatal to me? Yes, to you. What do you mean? I might be forced to explain how I came into possession of this. My revolver? 
Where did you get it? On the deck outside the window where you threw it after you shot Mrs. LaSalle. Why should I shoot Mrs. LaSalle? Because you knew she shot your brother. My brother shot? When? Where? Tonight in Harris's room at the hotel. Are you sure? I was there when it happened. Where are you going? To the captain to have him question Mr. Harris. That wouldn't get you anything. Harris is crafty. I know him. He'll stop at nothing and always has a perfect alibi. Well, that's all the more reason why you should go with me and prove what you say. Proof? That's why I was in his room at the hotel. That's why I'm here, searching for proof. I understand now why you warned me about Mr. Harris. If my brother has made an enemy of such a man... Don't worry. Together we'll find a way to run him to work. are loose on the decks of a steamer at sea, striking terror to the hearts of the passengers. But even more terrifying is the monster ape, and Harris stops at nothing to gain his ends. At least, that is the reputation given him by Robert Grant, a young American, who is on board the steamer disguised as an Arab. Grant escaped from prison and is trailing Harris to recover a letter which he believes will clear him of a murder charge. Grant has told his story to Muriel Armitage, whose brother Tom disappeared mysteriously from a hotel room. Grant further informs Muriel that a woman known as Mrs. LaSalle, who has just been murdered in her cabin on the steamer, shot Tom accidentally during a struggle over a gun. But even Grant does not suspect that the wounded man was spirited away by an Arab named Mustafa, who had plotted with Harris and Mrs. LaSalle to make Tom reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit. The steamer is wrecked and starts to sink. Mysterious hand locks the cabin door. 
imprisoning Grant and Muriel and leaving them to drown. <laughs> is just a little ways ahead. of my money. Of your money? Yes. Stay down. You stay here. Two leopards from aboard the ship. Maybe some of the other cats got on shore, too. Oh. Well, you got ashore safely, eh? Yeah. But they just got clawed by one of them cats you showed me. Well, Jiminy, ain't gonna write message in case I don't get out of here. Yes, maybe. Uh, don't go get back to Lobenga alive. You send that message. Oh, dear. Just don't say that. Come on, follow me. Oh, <laughs> 
Answer me. They want to know where the diamonds are. Muriel! Muriel! It was a mistake to stop here last night with these blacks. We should have pushed on to our own camp. Muriel! <laughs> See the boy. You make ready the litter and take him to our camp. Yes, ma'am. It's like some kind of squash. White people who come to your village, enemies of the sick born. Sickness, no time white man comes to enemy. I bet. Nothing be said to them about me presence of the sick boy here. Have no fear, I'll protect you. Still brooding about your animals? Yeah, uh, there have been plenty of animals. But now that the ship sunk, I never find out who killed my Helen. Your Helen? Yeah, my Helen. What? On the ship's register. Thermal Lasalle. She was the only woman in my life. But I ain't going to stop till I find out who murdered her. You fool, fool. If you want to find out who killed her, maybe this will help you. Maybe the one who wrote this note did it. Maybe it was the Arab we saw at the cabin window. That is my friend. I am surprised to see you here. Well, thank our lucky stars we are here. We were shipwrecked up the coast. Hail, Mustafa. By the will of Allah, I see you sooner than expected. I went to the ship as you directed find Mrs. LaSalle and the boy, but he was not there, and the lady was mysteriously killed before the ship was wrecked. I didn't like the convenient way you got rid of me in Lobenga, Mustafa. Oh, my friend, let us, let us speak of that in private. Did he really send you to the ship to find my brother? No. I said that to cover tracks so Harris won't suspect my real motive. I must go. I can't let Harris get out of my sight. This is last fall and the boy had an argument. And during the struggle that followed, the boy is shot and wounded. It was not till after the steamer sailed that I discovered that Mrs. Brassal did not have the boy. I'm on to your game, Mustafa. What have you done with the boy? No matter what I say, you not believe me. Remember, I've still got Pimmy, and I'll find him. You'd better not interfere. Mr. 
Sarvatich. Your brother has been here in this village. My brother here? How do you know? I found this watch in one of the huts. But how did he get here? Who brought him? The chief would know better than anyone. I can't stop to talk. I must trail Harris. I know he's been here, and you've got to tell me where he is now. That's to tell you. No more white people in this village. Then how do you account for his watch being here? Dancy, do not try to account for what he knows nothing of. I've lived in Africa a long time, and I'm not afraid of you. I'm going to find my brother if I have to bring the territorial police. Dancy don't know. White man, your brother. Dancy was told. You white man enemy. Who told you that? White man. Him no good. Him make fool out of dancing. Who is this white man? Me know him by the name. Just in past. He is dead, and the natives will blame us. Well, what caused him to die just when he was about to tell me of Tom? I don't know, but it means trouble. We better get out of here before they find it. One of Tom's cigarettes. Say, I'm sure they went this way with him.
those rocks before they overtake us. and other fierce jungle beasts surround a party of castaways, shipwrecked African coast. Leading the party is a hunter named Harris, whom each of the others is following for a special reason. The one whom Harris least suspects is Robert Grant, a young American disguised as an Arab. Grant escaped from prison to trail Harris and recover a letter which he believes will clear him murder charge. Muriel Armitage, the only person who knows Grant's secret, is interested in Harris because she suspects that he had a hand in the mysterious disappearance of her brother Tom. But he was really spirited away by a cunning Arab named Mustafa, who intends to make his prisoner reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit. Harris also after the diamonds and is using his monster ape man, Bimi, to trail Mustafa's a native tribe against the whites, and a horde of warriors swoop down upon them.
right here until hunger drives them out. Well, uh, you'll find this, huh? I saw that you missed the trail to Lubenga. I was on my way trying to find you when the natives jumped me. Those natives are going to camp out there. And if we don't want to starve to death, we better find another way out. Mining tools. Some fool has been in here prospecting for gold. Well, he didn't get very far. Oh. something else by him, and it's... Oh, I'm so afraid. like we're inside the crater of an old volcano. It's liable to erupt at any minute. Get me out of here, quick! Right, the doc just what we've been trying to do. How is he? No better, not. Has he said anything about the diamonds? Nothing. All he does is call for his sister. The diamonds. Muriel. Oh, I won't tell you. Muriel. Where are you, sir? Oh, I know you're Tom, sir. I never told you, but it's, it's funny the way I found them. I, uh... You're not my sister. Oh. When the fever has left him, we make him talk. Pardon, Master, but a strange Arab has arrived in camp and is asking for you. A strange Arab? Yes. Hey, Mara, who come to the black village with Harris. Who is it indeed you, my friend? I thought your mission take you back to Lobenga. As you know, my mission is a man, and with his trail lead, I follow. You expect to find Harris in my camp? I didn't even know you had a camp. I was trailing Harris, but I lost his trail. Muriel, where are you? Oh, Muriel, they want to find the diamonds now. I won't help. Oh, Muriel. Oh, Muriel. Enter, my brother, and be at rest. I go to order refreshment for you. May it please you, Excellency. A strange beast attacked our people at the water hole, killing a camel. What beast? A lion? Like no lion we ever see. We dug a pit, and with the dead camel, we baited it, and the animal fell into it. Let me see this strange beast. Yeah. Hey, Master. That's the one right here. What is it? An Indian tiger in Africa. Perhaps from the steamer that was wrecked. Well, does nice love him, Master? No. 
I have other plans. Pitch a tent over the grating and let no man come near. The tent, master? Yes. Perhaps before long, we catch something else besides tiger. Yes, yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. But you find me for... Oh, oh, a thousand pardons, my friend. Oh, my brother, you have had a fatiguing day. I leave you to rest. No please, no ceremony. Don't go up there. You can't tell what may be hiding behind those rocks, ready to jump out on you. I'm not afraid. Well, I guess I'll have to go along with you then. does it make, whether it's blue or green? Well, blue clay in this part of the country means only one thing, and that's diamond. Diamond? Yes, come on, let's go see. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we found a new field of diamonds? No, you don't find me breaking my neck up here. I'll go back to the big rock and wait there for you. All right. Oh, Mrs. Colby! Jules is 
suspicions were justified, Master. The fool is walking to his fate. Well done, Ildre. A night in the pit will cure the sick boys up on this. And by morning, he'll be ready to talk. Robert Grant, a young American, accused of a crime he did not commit, Grant has escaped from prison to find and convict the guilty man. His real identity is known only to Muriel Armitage, who is also in the jungle. Muriel is following a trail left by her brother Tom, who, while unconscious from a bullet wound, has been spirited away by agents of an Arab named Mustafa. Mustafa is trying to make Tom reveal the location of a rich diamond deposit, a secret which Harris is also trying to obtain. Harris is trailing Tom's captors with the aid of his monster ape-man beam, but has been forced to seek shelter in the crater of an extinct volcano to have been attack of African warriors. The natives besiege the entrance, imprisoning Harris along with Muriel and Mrs. Colby, a secret service agent whose real identity is unknown to any of the party. Meanwhile, in Mustafa's camp, Grant believes that he has located Tom Armitage in a pit covered by a tent. But in reality, the occupant of this pit is a tiger. Have been camped to be spirited away. Master, it cannot be far. 
your excitement over the tiger, and his delirium, he must have escaped from the tent. But he troubled us no more. Take horses. Get all men to scour the jungle before he wander far. Bring him back, or you answer to Mustafa. Yes, master. Shuluk Mare! Shuluk Ilam Shanayaja! Where can I? I'm the ladder. I didn't fall. Somebody tripped me with a stick. Help! Muriel! Where are you? Help! Help! Muriel! Help me up! What you been doing, huh? What happened? How did you get here? Oh, oh! Well, when you didn't come back, I became so frightened. I followed along. I got as far as this when a man came running along and bowled me over. What kind of a man? Oh, he was a great big man. Uh, the only thing I noticed about him, he wore dark glasses. There must be somebody else here beside ourselves. Well, there's that prospector skeleton in there. You don't expect it to walk, do you? Well, when I was looking for another way out of the crater this afternoon, I saw a man's footprints in the mud. There must be a maniac running loose, and he's probably using this old volcano for a hideout. We've got to get out of here. But how are we going to get out with those cannibals guarding the only exit? <laughs> Hey, got an idea. Uh, you're your straight. Hey, tank it, skull work. <laughs> The lions which lived in the cave are dead. The white witches who slew our king are within. Who will be brave enough to go in with me and bring them out? <laughs> Be not afraid. The man of Bella is master over everything in the jungle. Oh, my warriors, it is the soul of your dead king who speaks. Arm not these whites, for it was not they who struck me down. Name the one who did it. Name him, O oh, master, so we may avenge your death. Return to your village, knowing that a worse fate than you could devise awaits my murderer. Go. Fly in, I sure been glad that worked. Bibi, come here. He won't hurt you, as long as I'm here. I don't trust him. He 
grabbed me when we were on board the ship the night Mrs. LaSalle was killed. You can't blame him for her death. Mrs. LaSalle was shot, and Beanie knows nothing about guns. I don't know who it was, but they sure are going to find out who killed my Helen. Which way to Labanga? I'm going to get back to civilization. Well, I'm going to continue on the way taken by whoever it is that has my brother. Well, I guess I've been going with you. It's better that we travel together in the jungle for our own protection. The first of his army, then shipwreck, then cannibals, then murder, then skeletons, and find some of them afraid to see what's going to happen next. trust that house. What do you suppose has happened to him? I think he fooled us. He been after that fellow Mustafa. Maybe he followed him to his camp. For goodness sakes, do something. Let's get out of here. That animal may have murdered him. He may come back after us. We shall go. Any sign of the boy? It is useless, Hildrum. We have look everywhere. It is an enemy of our master. Although we fail to find the sick boy, we may carry favor with the chief by capturing this man. Come. see a chance to get some horses and make a getaway. You stay here and keep quiet till I come back. You understand? Any news of the sick boy? No, master. You get another horse. Bring him to my tent. We have trailed far into the jungle and been in need of food and drink. Oh, what a hot country. First, I must see your chief. Mustafa? Yes, lady. Didn't you say Harris mine head for Mustafa's camp? 
Yeah, it did. Funny that the trail we followed should lead to this camp. Well, I want to get out of this country as fast as I can. Now, we eat first. Something will happen pretty soon now. I hope so. Now is my day made perfect. It is the grace of Allah that brings so charming a lady to my camp. I'm Miss Armitage, and I've come to thank you for caring for my brother and to take him back to Lubenga. I, I, I do not understand. I am with staff. This is my camp, but, but there are no strangers here. I know positively that my brother has been here. May it please the master, the hunting party has returned and hope that what they have brought will meet with your favor. Excuse, please, this interruption. You, you wait in the comfort of my tent till I return. You will see that the young lady does not leave my tent. Yes, my master. Sarvidich, will you please come closer so that I can talk without being heard by the others? This man, Mustafa, has been holding your brother prisoner. But why? Your brother knows the location of vast diamond fields, and Mustafa doesn't intend to release him until he learns where they are. Well, where is Tom now? We were getting ready to escape when you came into camp. He's hiding in a pit now in that tent over there. Imbecile fool! Master! I sent you for this sick boy, and you bring me the last man on earth I want to see. Ah, Mr. Harris, we meet again. Huh? The last time we meet, I look at you from the ground. You make an enemy of Mustafa, but he's bad. Bring the prisoner and follow me. I do know where the diamonds are. It would be dangerous for you if they found it out. Oh, I'll tell anything to get Tom out of the clutches of these people. It wouldn't do you any good. They'd hold you both until they found you were telling the truth. And then silence you forever. You'll stay here till I come back. Make sure that the white people who come to the camp do not leave. Fill in the tiger pit so no one will know this strange Arab has been killed. Yes, ma'am. Beans. You had him in that pit and you're covering him up. Oh, you know he's in the pit, huh? Yes, I do, and I know you're trying to force him to tell where he discovered a field of diamonds. If I gave you that information, would you stop torturing him? You... you do not know where the diamonds are. Would these convince you that I know? You alone. Stop the men from filling in that pit. See where the diamond field is hidden, and the men will be ordered away. Strange beast! The tiger is here! Stop all as you want to follow him!
All right. To protect my brother, I'll tell you where the diamonds are. Go back along the trail toward the Matabili village. There on the right of the trail, partly hidden behind some vines. <laughs> master to an Arab camp. Harris had set the monster on the trail of Tom Armitage, who knows the location of a rich diamond deposit. Armitage, weakened by a bullet wound, has been held prisoner by Mustafa, the Arab chief, who thinks he has outwitted Harris in the race to get the secret of the diamonds. But Robert Grant, a young American disguised as an Arab, has rescued Tom and hidden him in a pit which the Arabs dug to capture a tiger. Meanwhile, Tom's sister Muriel has reached the camp and is bargaining with Mustafa to free her brother, offering to tell him the location of the diamonds. A mysterious man wearing black glasses who has already menaced Muriel when she discovered the diamond deposit steals up outside the tent to listen. And during Grant's absence, Mustafa's men begin to fill in the pit where Tom lies hidden. All right. To protect my brother, I'll tell you where the diamonds are. Go back along the trail toward the Matabili village. There on the right of the trail, partly hidden behind some vines. knowing that Tom is here and in danger. Tom isn't here. He's wandering out the jungle. Harris and that beast are trailing him. We must follow immediately if we are to help him. There's one horse here. Be ready when I come by with another. But what about Peterson and Mrs. Colby? We can't leave them behind. They'll be safe. Mustafa has no quarrel with them. You! Somewhere in this camp, there is a killer loose. He tried to shoot me. Have you seen him? No, I didn't. Uh. Hey, can't see man running, huh? And so you did. And he pulled me over. He ran out through the tent there.
You take the other trail and meet us later. All right. Time, my friend. You think you can stay on this horse till you get to Lobenga? Yes. All right, then give me your clothes and you take mine. All right. Why, Muriel, what brings you here? She can explain to you as you ride. Here's Muriel's gun. Now, you'll be perfectly safe if you head straight for Labenga. But what's to become of you? I've got business with Harris. You know enough of my story to understand. Now, please, both of you, hurry. Hand over that paper, Harris. Fool. But you know all I have to do is speak to Beamy? And that would be your last word, Harris. You don't look like anyone who would shoot a man down in cold blood. Don't I? You'd better look close, Harris, and you'll see that I'm serious. Grant! Bob Grant! After all that time I spent in prison for you, you still think I wouldn't shoot? Come on, hand over that wallet. you to follow. But don't try any tricks because I'll be ready for you. And I advise you not to show up again in La Benga. Phoebe! Phoebe! Go back. I'm a busy man. Move. You perhaps recall an American's attempt some time ago to take the throne of the Raja of Rampur? What can you possibly know about that? Since you know the case, you must recall that the American protested his innocence and swore there was a letter that would prove his word. Yes, yes, I know. I have that letter. Recovered from the man who withheld it. It's in Hindustani. Do you know what it says? Yes. It was written on the Rajah's deathbed and proves that the American was taking his place for a few days. How could an American expect to pass for a native Rajah? Save for the color of their skin, they were alike. It was this likeness that brought them together and made them friends. How do you possibly know so much about this affair? I am that American. That's impossible. You expect me to believe that? After I escaped from prison, I assumed the disguise so that I might remain at liberty until I proved my innocence. Now I'm ready to go back and stand trial. You mean to say you didn't kill the Rajah? His death was an accident which occurred while we were hunting tigers in the jungle. Who's that power-looking bird back there with the Roger? Why, uh, that's his cousin, Prince Zachary. 
No one must know that this has happened. At least of all, my cousin, Jack. Give me a leaf from your notebook. And I have strength to write. You must lose no time in bearing this to my brother, Krabova. My friend, for the next 48 hours, you must be the Raja of Ragpur. You've got to go through with it now. You think you can get away with this Raja stuff? I'll try for his sake. No time to lose. There's a bowl of bush right outside the tent. Get me some of the berries so I can stain my face and help me change clothes with the Raja. Harris proved false to his trust, sold the information to the pretender Decker, and was prevented from taking the throne only by the arrival of troops. And to cover themselves, they accused me. What proof have you that this fantastic story is true? My only proof is the Rajah's letter. To get it, I escaped prison, and hunted by the police of three continents have trailed Harris ever since. Now that I have it, I surrender myself to you. will be necessary to consider yourself under arrest. However, you will have the freedom of my quarters until I've communicated with the authorities of Rampur. Probably like a chance to clean up. <laughs> yes, I should say I would. Mr. Wainwright, I'm Tom Armitage, and this is my sister, Muriel. Won't you take a chair? Thank you. I stumbled on some diamonds in the old volcano crater near the Metabili village. I wanted to turn the information over to you. That is interesting. There are people in this district who would not report a diamond find to the government, but would try and work it themselves, illegally. You know, this is the first time I've felt safe in several days. Somebody heard about my discovery and tried to get the information from me. I was carried through the jungle for days. I only managed to escape yesterday. Did they get the information from you? No, but a woman named LaSalle shot at me when she saw I was growing suspicious of her question. Are you sure the shot was fired by Mrs. LaSalle? We were struggling for possession of the gun at the time I was wounded. I thought as much. Mrs. LaSalle would not have shot an innocent man. She was a trusted agent of the police. An agent of the police? Yes. And you may be sure that this department is leaving no stone unturned to solve the mystery of her murder. Wainwright speaking. Number 62 talking. 
Information regarding the death of Mrs. Massell. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. Check in again later. I guess we'd better not take any more of your time. Just a minute. That phone conversation had a strange bearing on the murder of Mrs. LaSalle. Did you find the guilty party? Possibly. You were on the boat the night of the murder, I believe. Yes. My stateroom was almost directly opposite hers. May I ask what took you on board, Miss Armitage? I received an anonymous note saying that Mrs. LaSalle could explain my brother's disappearance. Did you speak to her? Yes, I had rather an unsatisfactory interview with her. Rather well, stormy interview, wasn't it? And you were found in her stateroom shortly after she was killed, were you not? Are you hinting that my sister had something to do with the killing of Mrs. LaSalle? More than that. Under the circumstances, I must put her under arrest for murder. This is ridiculous. An outrage. Come on, Muriel. Get out of my way. Take your hands off. My sister's innocent. Where do you get your authority? You can't handle a lady like that. Just you a minute, old man. This kind of a scene won't help Muriel. Oh, Muriel! Oh, now, listen. We know that she's not guilty. But you can help her more by going about it peacefully instead of losing your head. I guess you're right. This is outrageous. It's things like this that makes outlaws of men. I think you'll find, sir, that Miss Armitage is not guilty of the crime. Good evening, my dear. I know how troubled you are, but Tom will soon have you out of here. I want to caution you not to tell anyone of the location of the diamond mine, not even the authorities. But I've already told Mr. Wainwright. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's unfortunate. By the way, has Tom been here? No. Well, when he comes, tell him not to mention the diamonds to anyone. Oh, diamonds. I wish I'd never heard of them. They're the cause of all of our trouble. Why, this is the same handwriting as the note that warned me against Mrs. LaSalle. Give me that note. With this to wait from, to wait from, I may be able to help you. I'm connected with the police, but don't tell anyone. The authorities here don't know me. I'm working out of Calcutta. Oh. Now get some rest, my dear, and I'll come in tomorrow and uh, tell you the progress I've made. Good night, dear. Good night. You, Grant? Wainwright has been killed. 
Yes, and we have the murder. of Rampur, and the stroke of its paw has changed the destiny of Robert Grant, a young American who bore a strange resemblance to the Rajah. To save the Rajah's people from the evil intentions of Prince Dakar, who plotted to seize the throne, Grant assumed the dying ruler's identity until the rightful heir could arrive and take command. Dakar's confederate, a hunter named Harris, accused Grant of having murdered the Rajah. Proof of Grant's innocence exists in the form of a letter written by the Rajah, which Grant has just recovered from Harris after a long chase through an African jungle. Grant tells his story to Commissioner Wainwright of the Secret Service, who agrees to send him back to Rampur with the letter so that he may be cleared of the murder charge and expose Dakar's plot against the throne. That night, Wainwright is murdered in his office, and the Rajah's letter is stolen from the safe. Grant, who is on the scene when the police arrive, is charged with the crime. Meanwhile, his friend Muriel Armitage, whom Wainwright arrested for the murder of a woman known as Mrs. LaSalle by an elephant which has seized her in its trunk. Why, I just came in when I heard the shot. You can tell that to the authorities. noise. I'm the only one around here that can help you. Oh, Mr. Harris, please. I'll make him let you go when you tell me where those diamonds were found. we met Grant, you relieved me of a letter signed by the Raja of Rampur. I want it back. I gave it to Wainwright. Wainwright? Yes, and once he put it in the safe. He was murdered tonight, and the letter has disappeared. Then why did you turn the evidence over to him? Because I wanted to be sent back to Rampur, so that my part in that affair could be cleaned up. Yeah, then what are you doing here? I thought you had stolen the letter, and I was after it. Well, that's a far-fetched story, Grant. I'm going to take you to Wainwright's office and see if you're telling the truth. I can't go back there. They suspect me of the murder. All the more reason why you should go back. Drop it, Toto. Now, oh, get moving. Drop that gun, Harris. Drop it unless you want this gun to speak. Maybe you'd understand that kind of language. Now, Grant, take that pistol and make yourself scarce. Harris, travel in the other direction.
Now that foreigner sure made fools of us. We'd better double back. He may be hiding somewhere. Muriel. Muriel. I came to tell you that Wainwright has been killed. I know. I heard you tell Mr. Harris. I wanted you to know that it was your gun that shot him. In case you're asked, don't let anyone know that I gave Tom the gun yesterday. You don't think Tom did it, do you? Where is he? He has disappeared. But I'm sure he didn't kill Wainwright. Whoever did it was after the letter that was locked in the safe. Well, who could it possibly have been? There are only a few of us know about the letter or the diamond. It couldn't have been Harris. Well, what about the man with the black glasses? I'm afraid we can't suspect him. He saved me from Harris just now. That leaves the old lady. Mrs. Colby? Oh, she's the one person who didn't do it. She's a Secret Service agent. Mrs. Colby, a Secret Service agent? Hmm. That's strange. She asked me not to say anything about it to anyone. I shouldn't have betrayed her confidence. It'll go no further. That leaves Peterson. He's the one I'll have to go after. I must go now. The police are after me. Yeah, one ticket on the boat to Calcutta. When she shall sail. 10 o'clock, that's been good. The name Ben Peterson, Olaf Peterson. No, no, Peterson, P-A-T-A-L-S-O-N, Peterson. Yeah. Good morning, Mrs. Colby. Good morning. And no thanks to you that I am here to say it. If it hadn't been for Mr. Peterson, who took pity on me yesterday when you ran away and left me in that Arab camp, goodness only knows what would have happened to me. You were going in to see Mr. Peterson? I was, until you came along. Come in. Time to fetch your bags. I didn't come for your bags. I didn't know that you were sailing. Harris! You're the man I want to see. Where are you running off to? When the boat, she sink, I lose all my animals, and I got to go to India to get some more tigers. Uh, by the way, uh, could you let me have some lions on credit? Well, I guess that could be arranged. I picked him up on the way back and uh, pay you as soon as they deliver them to the New York Zoo. Quite an affair last night, the murder of Wainwright. Yeah. Who do you suppose did that? Come in. The baggage ship been all ready to go. Never mind the baggage now. I call you when I want you. You will have to excuse, please. The steamship ticket they have to go see about. Sure. I'll see you before the boat sails. Yeah, yeah.
Lefty, Sahib, take a chance. Your band can't find me? Yes. Alfo's request for the Rajah's letter. They got it. Good. Then it was you who murdered Commissioner Wainwright last night. No. Halvan shot him from the window and I was trying to say. How did you know that? Think you in the matter of a throne? My master leaves anything to chance? There never was a time when thy movements were not checked by other agents. The letter, please. What you do? Fool, dost thou not know that the whole virtue of this paper is the secret writing on the back? Hmm. Strange there is no reaction. This should bring out the disappearing ink. This is not the real letter. It's an imitation. Not the real letter? How do you know that? Because if it were, the secret writing would appear. I don't understand that. Did I spend the paper that was in the safe? Grant stole it from Harris and then gave it to Wainwright? There you have it. Harris set a trap and Grant walked into it. Harris must still have the real paper. That Harris been a slick fowler. Then go and get it. If thou wouldst claim the reward my master offered. Yeah, I get it. Stay where you are, and don't make a move. You might be able to fool Peterson, but you can't fool me. I've been listening to your hocus pocus about the disappearing ink, and it hands me a laugh. I know that's a real letter, and I want it. Produce that letter, quick. I threw it in the basket. I saw you throw it in the basket, but this is another new trick of yours, and you're not going to get away with it. You tell me where that letter is, or you'll never get out of this room. took that letter out of the basket, and he's now at Harris's compound. Hello. Hello. So, this is just a new game, Harris. You knew Peterson took that letter all the time, and is now at your compound. Sit down in that chair. Put your hands behind you. I'll see that you don't need a fear this time.
If I were sure that Peterson had that letter, I'd finish you right now. <laughs> Armitage, I have a message for you. You may not remember me. I am a confidant of Mustafa. Yes? My master has a proposition for you. Mustafa seeks the location of the diamonds. In exchange, there's a pepper to offer, which you know is of great value to Mr. Grant. And why do you think I'm interested in anything concerning Mr. Grant? It is no secret that Mr. Grant has helped you and your brother out of many difficulties. See, my master trusts you. Now, tell where the diamonds are hidden. Well... A real paper with the Rancha signature. The paper that Chan threw in the wastebasket was the real letter. You let him trick you, you fool. You call me fool, but I ain't been fooling now. Hold him, Peter, son. which he was hunting slew the Raja of Rampur, and the stroke of its paw has changed the destiny of Robert Grant, a young American who bore a strange resemblance to the Raja. To save the Raja's people from the evil intentions of Prince Dakar, Grant assumed the dying ruler's identity until the rightful heir could arrive and take command. 
Dakar's confederate, a hunter named Harris, accused Grant of having murdered the Rajah. Proof of Grant's innocence exists in the form of a letter written by the Rajah, which will also convict Dakar of plotting against the throne. An agent of Dakar, a Swede named Peterson, is trying to recover the letter so that his master may destroy it. But the letter has come into the possession of Mustafa, an Arab innkeeper, who knows where he can dispose of it to his own advantage. Mustafa knows that Muriel Armitage, who has been arrested on a murder charge, is interested in helping Grant to recover the letter. He sends his man, Ilderin, to call on Muriel in prison and offer her the letter in exchange for telling him the location of a rich diamond deposit. A mysterious man wearing black glasses steals up outside the cell window with a gun in his hand. Now, you will tell where the diamonds are hidden. Well, there. He's dead. She's the murderer. No, no, no. I didn't do it. You think it's inspector's office. What happened here? Where did you? Meanwhile, Grant, disguised as a Hindu, has visited Harris's animal compound in the hope of recovering the letter. Peterson is there on the same errand, and both are trapped by Harris among the animal cages. In one cage is Harris's ferocious ape-man, Beamy, trained to obey his master. My life, Chen. Peterson, you fool. That isn't Chen. But he's your worst enemy. What are you talking about? That's Robert Grant. And he tricked you into giving him that letter. What lies you speak? Ask why this man is no white man. Open his shirt and see for yourself. Well, we see. Do as he says. Killing is too good for him. I know a better way to handle him. But never mind. I want to get that letter, and then I'll send him back to prison, where I sent him once before. That letter he had was not real. It was a fake. So did you make a copy of it? And there is no copy. He had the original, the one that belonged to me. Come on, give me a hand. Your carelessness in allowing the prisoner to smuggle this weapon into prison will cost you dearly. But I tell you, I did not have the gun. It was thrown in through the window by the person who fired the shot. Can you describe that person? No. You're still determined to withhold the errand which sent the Arab to see you. Well, I hope. I have been warned that if I tell, my brother will pay for it with his life. You believe that, friend? After.
after what has happened yet. I told Mr. Wainwright, and three hours later, he was murdered. You know who killed Wainwright? Here is the man who killed Wainwright. According to our records, Wainwright was killed by a white man. This man is white under the stain that covers his face. You may have difficulty in proving the murder, but you will have no difficulty in returning him to prison at Rampur, where he was serving a life sentence. He has a record? Yes. This man is Robert Grant, the American, who tried to steal the throne of the Raja of Rampur. That's a lie, Harris. There's a letter in existence written by the Rajah which proves my innocence. Yes, and where is the letter? I have it. How did you get this? The Arab gave it to me for the information that he wanted. Why did the Arab think this was of any value to you? He knew that I would do anything I could to to help Mr. Grant. I think I understand. Under the circumstances, I'll have to return Grant and this letter to Rampur by the boat which sails tonight. Why, that's exactly what I've been working for. Return the prisoner to her cell. Put Grant under guard. Thanks, Harris. I may call on you again for more information. Very well, sir. Any time. You're still in question. You were leaving on the boat that sails tonight, Peterson? What's the use? Without that letter from Prince Dakar, I got no business in Rampur. What staterooms you have? D-47. D-47. But I can't afford to take chances. Well, it's okay with me. You don't want to get a rampart with that letter half as much as I do. At least uh, I can give you the birth of honor. Special thanks for something, anyhow.
tell you, he was not on that ship last night. They changed my mind and didn't sail. This radiogram says... They don't care what says no radiogram. He was not on that boat. You wait till comes Mr. Harris. He can prove it. Mr. Harris will be here any minute. We shall see. There he is now. Ah, oh, there you are, Harris. Please tell that policeman where he was last night. I'm afraid I don't know what it's all about, Inspector. They are trying to tell me A killed a man last night on a ship A didn't sail on. Murder. You may as well know the rest, Mr. Harris. I never would have suspected my friend capable of such a crime. That's hardly the point, Mr. Harris. Mr. Peterson asked us to send for you. Said you could prove an alibi for him. Oh, you shouldn't have dragged me into this. You know I know nothing of your move last night. What? You say that to me? You don't expect me to perjure myself, do you? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about where Mr. Peterson was last night. He told me he was sailing. If he didn't... You are lying, you devil. Lying just to get me out of the way. You would see me hang for murder just because you think I would interfere with your plans. You! Take him back to a cell. My time will come. I'll get you, help. We'll see if they don't. It is useless, Harris. None but an Oriental can solve an Oriental's magic. Do you know what I ought to do to you? Yes, but I am too valuable to you. If I can succeed where you have failed, I should be worth much to you. Do you think you can bring back the writing on this paper? I know many tricks. What's your price? The use of your ape man, Bimi. To do what? The Armitage girl is in prison. If she were in my quarters, I think she'd tell where the diamond field is. Go ahead. Get busy. When I have the girl, it will be plenty of time for this. A fine bargain. I bring you the girl, then you say you can't bring back the writing. Don't forget, my friend, that even if I do fail to bring back the writing, you do seek the information about the diamond. We are still partners. It's a bargain. But don't you try to double-cross me this time, Mustafa. Trail out this way. <laughs> 
and played pinochle with me, you'd have had a perfect alibi. Can't you get me out of this? You know I didn't do it. Besides, you've been in the secret service. Shh. Don't let anybody hear you say that. My identity isn't known, not even to the police. Sir, I've had one setback this morning. Miss Armitage has disappeared out of her cell. What? Disappeared? You mean she been escaped? Yes. She must have been removed by people who are not her friends. The man with the black glasses. Do you suppose that Ben Harris in disguise? That's another thing I don't want noised about. The man with the black glasses is the key to the whole mystery. And he doesn't know I'm after him. There he is. Well, I must be going. Wait, uh, uh, you been going to set the police after the man with the black glasses? Forget that you ever heard about the man with the black glasses. Unless you want to meet the same fate as Miss Armitage. Give us neither trouble nor information. Where is she? The third door. Are you ready to talk? I wouldn't tell the police where the diamonds are. Why should I tell you? We'll find a way to make you talk. Did she talk? No, but she will. I've got a plan to make her talk. What is it? She's ready for any kind of a getaway. Now, the first thing we do is get the out the disappearing ink. Right away. My key, please. Oh, help! 
Uh, yes, Mrs. Colby. I'll attend to it right away. Uh, bring down a trunk from Mrs. Colby's room right away, please. A cart will be waiting at the side entrance. Uh... I think I know something about disappearing ink, but this is beyond me. If you can't find a way to bring this writing back, I'll find someone who will. I am sorry, my friend. I cannot help you in this. But we will be more fortunate in our quest for the diamond thief. And remember, we are together in that. straight to the diamond field. meaning of this? This is the man who murdered the officer on board ship. He has the Rajah's letter on him. Take him away. You haven't heard the last of this ship. We will go. Where to go? 
Não, eu acho que eu tô. I want the Rajah's letter, Harris. You'll never get out of this town without the police getting you. And I want them to get me. And take me back to Rambor with this letter. Oh. So you thought you'd fool me with a fake, huh? A fake? Yes, and a very clever one, Harris. Only one thing you overlooked was the watermark on the paper. Stepper, the dirty girl double crossing. What was Stepper got to do with this? None of your business. Nothing of the girl. man of terrific strength captured in the African jungle and trained to obey its master has seized Muriel Armitage and carried her to an Arab inn where she is held captive. Muriel knows the location of a rich diamond mine which Mustafa, the Arab innkeeper, 
is scheming to possess in spite of the strict government regulations against illicit diamond mining. The ape man's master, Harris, has aided Mustafa to capture Muriel because the Arab knows the secret of restoring invisible ink. Harris has a letter which is worth a fortune if he can restore the message that was written on the back in disappearing ink. Mustafa succeeds in restoring the vanished message, but keeps the real letter and gives Harris an imitation. Muriel, prompted by a decoy note which she believes was written by her brother Tom, overpowers an Arab servant girl, takes her clothes, and escapes. Meanwhile, Robert Grant, a young American, has stolen the fake letter from Harris, believing it to be the evidence he needs to clear himself of a murder charge. Discovering the fake, he goes in search of Mustafa and learns that he has gone in pursuit of Muriel. As Grant starts to leave the room where Muriel was imprisoned, a trap door is sprung under his feet. I fear our guide would not live to lead us to the diamond field. My horse, you know? Yes, sir. Hubla, hubla, no You come get us. Come get us, horse. We follow to the camp. that his people were able to serve you. I'll show you to a place where you may rest. Oh, thank you. But I'm in great haste and must hurry on as soon as my horse is found. <laughs> I'll never forget your kindness. And I'll tell my people of the friendship of your tribe. Bunga, Banja. White girl, who use her magic to lay low our king. Inya, Inya. I had no part in his death. Bunga. Vengeance to the slayer of our king. Hola. Have you forgotten what the spirit of our king said to us at the caves? He has fulfilled his promise. He has her brought into our hands. Prepare the sacrifice. Get to your magic and see if you can bring words from the departed. She is valuable to us. You go back to the camp. Get what fighting men are there. I stay here to see what happens.
Wait a bit, old man. I didn't know it was you when I fired. This is Tom Armitage. Yeah? If you really are, we need to come off where I can see you. Oh, well, this is a relief. How are you, old man? Well, what brings you here? I didn't know anybody knew I was hiding here. I didn't know until I found your note to Muriel. I came here to warn her that Mustafa let her escape so that he could follow her and find the diamond. My note to Muriel? Why, I didn't write any note to her. Why, isn't this yours? I didn't write this. What can it mean? It means that Mustafa planned the whole thing to make Muriel lead him to the diamond. Why didn't you pass her on the trail out here? No, I left the trail because Harris and Bimmy were ahead of me. But what about Muriel? Supposing they overtake her? No. You wait here in case she arrives. I'll go back along the trail and see what I can do to prevent her being followed. All right. with the girl. The girl is held prisoner in the black village. Mustafa, he has sent me to our own camp to get men to rescue her. Rescue her? From what? They accuse her of having killed our aged king. And the tribe is clamoring for her life as a sacrifice. If I thought this was another of your lying tricks, I had to. Like the beard of the prophet, I swear it is the truth. Whether it's the truth or not, I've no course but to believe you. Go on. Give heed, ye faithful, to the words of your dead king. As I promised at the cave's mouth, I have delivered into your hands the author of my death. Let the white girl pay with her blood for the blood of your king. <laughs> Lead her to the chain of her of condemned. Guard well against her magic, but she escaped even now. Come on, come on, Mr. Thank <laughs> you. 
Savages resound through the jungle as they follow the trail of Muriel Armitage, whom the natives suspect of having caused the mysterious death of their king. Muriel, disguised as an Arab girl, 
is on her way to join her brother Tom in a cave where he is hiding from his enemies. She is trailed by an Arab named Mustafa, who believes that she will lead him to the location of a rich diamond mine. The warriors are led by a white man named Harris, who is seeking to recover a letter which is worth a fortune to him. The letter, written by an Indian Rajah just before he died, is the only evidence that can clear Robert Grant, a young American who is a fugitive from justice, charged with having murdered the Rajah. Grant has aided Muriel in her efforts to rejoin her brother, and while she is running toward the cave, Grant is crouching in the branches of a tree, beneath which Mustafa must pass, unaware that he has intruded upon the lair of a hungry leopard. <laughs> I know you took the Rajah's letter from Harris, but I'll trouble you to hand it over. Why, my friend, I, I do not understand. I know you gave Harris a fake copy. Now hand over the real one. Don't move until I make sure this is the right one. Mm. Got us agreement with Decker. I don't know how you managed to bring up the disappearing ink, but I'm sure obliged to you. This will free me of the murder charge and convict Decker of plotting against the throne. Before he gets away, he has hidden the white girl somewhere. We must find them both. from the cave in the mountain. That is where he has hidden the girl. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right, but I'm afraid something has happened to Tom. He wasn't here when I came. Why, I left him here just before I went to the African camp. Oh, I'm sure something has happened to him. He might be in the crater. You better look. White girl was spirited away by means of powerful magic. Paper with spirit writing on. Search him and you will find it.
come across with that letter, or I'll tell these blacks that it was you that killed their king. Prove it. Remember, they are my friends. All I have to do is to tell them of the poison darts that you carry, the kind that killed their king. I do not have the paper. Grant, hold me up and take it from me. What is this? You two men talk about it. I, I tell him that, that if you had not stopped us, we find the man who has the paper. Where is he? My man ape will find the trail. See me. Trail. Find. No, was it he that tied you up? Yes, he kidnapped me from my room in the hotel and brought me here. Well, did you see my brother Tom? Why, I don't even know your brother, miss. What will he be doing here? He was here an hour ago. Well, if he was, he must be the man in the black glasses. Impossible. Why, well, that's absurd. Well, the only person I've seen is the man with the black glasses. There we are. Why? Graham? I'm arresting you for the murder of Wainwright. You're making a mistake, Mrs. Colby. Oh, no, I'm not. I told you Mrs. Colby was a secret service operator, but I didn't tell you she was investigating the Wainwright murder. And I'm arresting you for the murder of Mrs. LaSalle. What? Now, I'm just an old woman, but I wouldn't hesitate to use this gun if I had to. language. Tell them I'm an officer of the law, and these people are my prisoners. I'm afraid they'll likely save the law the trouble of hanging, Grant. This is the man with the magic paper. See, he has a white woman with him. So, that was your game. You did bring back the writing and save me the trouble. Paper magic. I give paper medicine man. Magic do no harm. Home now. Go. the village before the blacks do her harm.
Never mind the girl. This boy is her brother. He know where the diamonds are. Now you know what I want. You talk. I'll tell you if you help me rescue my sister. Ah, no time for that. You'll tell me where the diamond field is. I'd rather die. You know, all I have to do is stand aside and give my men an order. I'm ready. Watch these two. Magic words, spirit away, white girl, who killed our king. The paper must be reduced to ashes and the girl sacrificed. <laughs> Let the magic paper be burned. Law, please, low. Come on. I'm sorry about the Raja's letter. After you've gone through so much to get it. If it's burned, you'll never be able to clear yourself. It's you I'm thinking of. If there were only some way I could get you out of here. Man, follow. Umba, Aga, woman. <laughs> Pluta, Chanda, Pluta, Pluta. You wait here until you get my signal. you might think me lacking in the courtesy which always exists between our tribes. So I send my men home, and I come back. It is well, my brother. Remain and watch the witch doctor burn the magic paper and a sacrifice of the witch woman. brother is outside with my men. Watch my signal. I help you get away. I don't believe you and I wouldn't trust you. Come. Look up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Preparing to sacrifice her in revenge for the mysterious death of their king, Muriel Armitage is imprisoned in a hut. While in the jungle outside the native village, her brother Tom is waiting with some Arab horsemen in the desperate hope of rescuing her. Bob Grant, a young American, has tried to rescue Muriel, but he's himself a prisoner. Grant's failure is due to the crafty scheming of his enemy, Harris who is watching his chance to get hold of a letter which the savages are going to burn because they believe it is a magic paper. The letter is worth a fortune to Harris, but is even more precious to Grant because it is the only evidence that can clear him of a murder charge. Meanwhile, in a town not far away, Olaf Peterson has been arrested on a charge of having killed a police officer while trying to get hold of the letter. Men want to let me out of this jail? Maybe they find out I didn't do it, huh? Don't make me laugh. They're just gonna book you for another murder. What? They didn't kill nobody. Save your breath and tell us a Wainwright. Wainwright? He been dead, murdered. Sure, you're the one that murdered him. Amos, they, they ain't one killer yet, Robert. Why, you for living, they ain't Is this the man you saw robbing the safe in your office the night you were shot? Yes, he's the man. Do you recognize him as the man who shot you? No. The shot was fired from the window by a man in black glasses. Man in black glasses? Yes, your confederate. No, I don't been have nothing to do with that fella. I don't even know who he is. What were you doing at Wainwright's safe? But I don't wasn't... try to lie out of it. We've checked up your fingerprints with those on the safe. I'd advise you to make a clean breast of it, Peterson. All right. Let's go talk. Let's go plead guilty to the charge of burglary. What did you take out of the safe? A piece of paper. The Rajah's letter? Yeah, the letter to Rajah Rampur wrote when he was dying, telling his brother to come quick and take the throne so his cousin, Prince Thakka, couldn't stir up any political trouble. What did you want with the letter? Prince Dakar hired me to get the letter so he could destroy it. That's the reason I've been in Lobenga to see Harris. You mean Harris had the letter? 
Yeah, he been tried to bring out the secret writing on the back of the letter so he could blackmail Prince Doctor. That fits in with other information about Mr. Harris. Yes. The Arab Mustafa assured me that the squad I sent to arrest Harris would find the letter on him. Where's Harris? When that ape man of his set the lines on us, we had to run for our lives, and Harris escaped. Escaped? Harris and his ape man took to the jungle. The guards are now following him, and we came back for reinforcements. He's headed for the black camp. Those Matapele's been friends of his. He must not escape. Get what men you need. I'm going with you. If you've been telling me the truth, Peterson, I can promise you a short sentence. I tell you the cold truth. All I want is to get square with this fellow Harris. <laughs> Well, Grant, I your finish. Once that letter goes up into smoke, you'll never be able to prove that you didn't kill the Raja. They'll hang you when they get you. I may never get the letter, Harris, but that won't stop me from you over to the police site. You'll never live to see the police. These natives will finish you off as soon as they're through with the Armitage girl. you word from one who need your help. What word? From who, Mustafa? Miss Armitage's brother is outside with my men. We plan to rescue her. What's your plan? To rush the hut where she's tied up? She is no longer tied up in the hut. The old lady of whom you know managed to get her out disguised as a witch doctor. Oh, 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 oh,
Don't be afraid. I told you your brother was waiting for you. Come. Did you know where to find me? Why, I was in the cave when the natives took you away. You were? Well, why didn't you answer me when I called? Just as I saw you coming, the man in the black glasses hit me from behind. And when I came to, the natives were taking you away. The man in the black glasses? Yes. And you'd never guess who he is. Why, why he's... I saw you shoot Tom Armitage. Why, the very idea. You must be crazy. Don't you know I'm a secret service operator? I don't care who you are. I saw you shoot him. Get going. Badly? No, just a flesh wound, but he's still unconscious. Well, I've got the criminal that shot him. Why, she told me she was a Secret Service agent. That's what I've been trying to tell this fool. But he won't believe me. Well, if you are, you can easily prove it. Why did you shoot him? So that's why you're always looking for my brother, so you could shoot him. The natives thought Miss Armitage here had killed their king. That's the second murder I've heard Miss Armitage accused of. I only hope she's as innocent of Mrs. LaSalle's death as I know she is of the king's murder. Your brother shot? Who did it? This old lady here, Mrs. Colby. She claims she's one of your Secret Service agents. One of my agents? I never saw the woman in my life. Then those credentials she carries must be false. You'll find them in that bag. These credentials are genuine enough, and they solve the mystery of the death of Mrs. LaSalle. At the time of her murder, she was investigating a mysterious output of diamonds that was flooding the market. Is that why you killed her? To prevent her discovering the source of this output? I'm not telling you anything. But I can tell you everything. I'm all right now. Help me up. And with the black glasses. By the mysterious man who shot at you, Miss Armitage, from my camp. And the mysterious man who shot Wainwright in his office. How did you learn of his disguise, my boy? Well, it was the night Wainwright was shot. I was pretty mad at him for having arrested Muriel. And I was on my way to his office to have it out with him. When I discovered this man crouching outside the window with a gun in his hand. Before I could interfere, he fired and ducked away. I followed him to a room in the Continental Hotel, which I later learned was supposed to be occupied by Mrs. Colby. Oh. I 
I've watched for my opportunity to get into the room, captured this man, took him to a volcano crater where I discovered the diamonds and the blue clay. The diamonds are at the bottom of this whole business. This man had discovered the mine and was working it secretly, knowing that if he should report it, they it. When I stumbled on it by accident, he followed me to town and fired at me from the balcony outside Harris's room to keep me from telling the secret to Mrs. LaSalle. I had no idea that Mrs. LaSalle was anything more than a pretty woman over whom I lost my head. Quite right. We, we know all about that. Uh, don't go, Mustafa. Oh, yeah. I only go to tell my men. Never mind your men. We've taken care of them already. Why, you have nothing against me? Oh, yes, we have, Mustafa. If you have nothing else to hold him on, I can be a witness that it was he who killed the native king. How do you know? It was while I was a prisoner in his camp. They thought I was out of my head. Are you not afraid that his sister and her friends had followed you from the black camp? By this time, they have all been slain in vengeance for the black king's death. They killed the king? No, but I make the blacks think they did. These little poison darts leave no mark. It was easy to make the blacks believe that the king died from the white girl's magic. Search him. Take the prisoners away. Take this man, too. Leave a couple of the horses for Miss Armitage and her brother. Inspector, I guess you'll have to send me back to Rampur. Have you got hold of the Rajah's letter again? No. I'll never be able to prove my innocence now that the letter is gone forever. What do you mean? The blacks thought it was a magic document and burned it. Rajah's letter. Why, where did you get it? I was behind the altar and managed to steal it without being seen. Don't try to follow any of you. We saw him fall. Did you see how it happened? Yes. It was Bimmy that frightened the horse. Congratulations, Grant. 
That paper will not only clear you, but it will win the thanks of many people for removing the menace of Prince Dekar. Look, that ape man's coming down the hill. Oh, 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 oh. 